Hello, this is SinK101, and I am here to give you guys the RPG Maker 2003 tutorial. So we're just going to get right into it because we don't have much time. Okay. Well, first, if you are using Windows Vista, right-click on your icon and hit Properties, Compatibility, and run this program as administrator at all times if you're using Windows Vista. I will try to have the RPG Maker 2003 download link posted in the sidebar or whatever. And anyway, here we go. <clears throat> now if you do get, the reason my screen went black is because it asked me if I wanted to allow or cancel. Oh, one second guys, this is something I was working on. Okay, new project tutorial. The, the directory name is the folder name. So you do not put like colons and stuff in there. The game name can be a whole different thing. Put it like Bob and Bob's Great Adventures. I mean Bob's Great Adventures and Bob's Great Adventures 2 and then colon the Wrath of whatever. Whatever. <coughs> Something like that. Okay, first, this will be our first map. We're just doing an overview today. Um first, you want to delete the map. I always do because it's just hard it's easier to work with. Now anyway, if you don't know how to use these tools, we'll get to them in time. Today we're just going to get into the database. Like I'm going to basically show you the whole game right here. Open your database, that button right there. <coughs> and here's your heroes chart. What you want to do now is because we're going to be building this game from scratch, hit array size. And this basically changes the size. Like you can add as many as you want. But today we're just going to lower it to one. Hit yes and clear that. Okay, same thing with classes. We're going to do this with everything today because I'm going to try to cover as much as we can. Uh, let's not delete the skills. Delete items. Delete monsters. <coughs> delete monster groups. Remember you're supposed to clear this after deleting. We did not do anything to the skills. Attributes, leave those as B, leave the conditions B, leave the animations, leave the animations too, leave the battle background, I mean laid out, leave the terrain. Don't mess with tile set, string, system, system two, or common event. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Now that we deleted it, with what time we do have, we're gonna go over an overview of what this is. Hero this will be your main characters, as in they can add to party, come away from party, and your main character, of course. Class. This is going to be the class to where we don't have to go through every character and give them a new statistic and everything. They're going to have some specific skill, class, and or profession. Skills. These are the powers you can cast in-game. We're going to show you some custom skills we can make, but it's safe to leave these because a lot of these are really good skills. Items. What your items like. All different types of items. We'll get to this all in time. Monsters, what you fight. Monster groups, that's actually the battle layout, what it's going to look like. How many monsters can be showing up. Attributes, the type of weapon and or magic. Condition, if you're dead, stunned, um, incapacitated, whatever. Animations, you, you cannot delete these. If you delete these, then your skills will work correctly. These are all behind the skills. Animations, battle animations that your character will use in battle for like all types. Battle layout is where your character would be placed, etc, whatever. And terrain, this would be the type of, I've never really used this, but this basically identifies what the battle will look like also for each terrain. We're not going to really mess with that because it's all perfect. <coughs> Sorry. Um, tile sets, you can add your own custom tile sets, but I advise never deleting these or altering them unless you're making like a custom game like you want them to like not be able to pass over certain things you could do that but we're not going to mess with any of that because these tile sets are fine string this will be messages that plays during battle level up messages for shops message for in and our names we're going to get all to that system your ship types your basic that's like your whole game right there system two menus and common event these are events that can happen like if you're making an ABS action battle system or active battle system. Custom message system, it all has to be played through through here. I can give you some examples and some stuff like that when we get into the game, but now let's do a quick overview. 
This is for freestyle mapping, square mapping, circle mapping, and fill the whole map. We'll get to that. Create game disk, so install creator if you know what that is, isn't required. Basically it creates the game for you and pulls it out of here. This is to save map. If you saved a map and you don't not like what you did afterwards, you can revert to last save. First layer, second layer, event layer. You can place this over this, <clears throat> but this will not go over this. Um, these just increase and decrease your views away from the map. This will too by right click and left click. Database, import, export, custom resources, RTP means it was already here. Music, music that will be played. You can test it there or just listen to some music while you're working. Event search, if you're on a map and you name an event like Bob and you're trying to find it and you don't remember which one it is because they're all pink or something, then you can just come into here, event name, current map, and type Bob and it'll bring up all events. You can click on them and pull them right up. Test your game, that'll pull up the game. This makes the game full screen or not full screen window. This will add your titles like this. There's a title there, and if you take it off, <coughs> there won't be a title there. And help, it does not have a help for this program. So I've basically given you an overview today of what you can do in RPG Maker 2003. My next video, we're going to get into um, working with the database because we don't have much time in these videos so we have to be very sparing and we're going to actually work with the database next time so be prepared to create some stuff in the database okay well thanks for watching sin k101 prepare for video 2 database and thank you for watching